Twitch. Artists don't make us enough money. Also Twitch. So let's bury their content under obscure directories so nobody will ever look at them again. Before I get into the meat of this, quick announcement. My print store is currently having a Black Friday sale. Prints, pins, magnets, stickers, and more are all at least 20% off. Pick something up for yourself or grab a stocking stuffer for an art lover in your life at maddenberry.com shop and support a small business this holiday season. And yes, that is a strawberry butt. You know you want one. Hey everyone, it's Barry. Y'all, I'm upset. I've been live streaming the creation of my games and paintings on Twitch for years. Link to my Twitch page in the description, by the way, if you ever want to watch me paint live and ask questions about my process. I paint every Wednesday at eight to- <gasps> When do I stream? I stream art every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can stay notified of all of my uploads. Over the years, there have been a lot of changes to how they handle non-gaming streaming content. Some of those changes for the better, some of those changes for the worse. But this most recent one makes me sad. So the other day, Twitch support tweeted that they plan to release a number of new directories to, in their words, make it easier to find the content you love and that this is currently being rolled out to a test group of users, presumably at random. These new directories include games, IRL, music, and esports. But a number of people have noticed there's one striking absence. Where's the art? Or like, literally anything creative in general, actually? And Twitch did respond to one of these replies to say, the art category will be found within the IRL directory. So you're telling me that music, which is an auditory form of art, gets its own directory. And esports, which is like gaming but make it profesh, isn't stuck in the games category, but every other creative category is just siphoned into the vaguest descriptor of anything that's ever done in the physical plane of existence. Before we continue, I don't want to hear anything about like Twitch as a gaming platform because explain this then. Don't actually explain it, that was rhetorical. I totally understand why music is its own separate category, especially now that physical concerts aren't a thing and streaming live music is incredibly lucrative, but that doesn't mean the rest of the creative categories have to get the boot. So let's just real quick break down every category that's totally getting shafted right now, because there's a lot. We've got Art, which includes digital and traditional drawing and painting, sculpture and more, all sorts of crafters from quilters, knitters, cosplay, pottery, electronics, someone's in the makers and crafting category doing weapon forging, just all kinds of cool stuff. Game dev and programming, which I think used to have its own category that got removed but now falls under science and technology, I guess. Food and drink, which I guess would fall under IRL, but food can also be art, I think. Makeup and body painting, which is an incredibly impressive art form that gets consistently suppressed because it uses the human body as a form of expression, even when streamers are fully conforming to the terms of service regarding revealing content. And you're telling me that all of that variety and creativity just gets swept under the IRL directory like it's some miscellaneous uncategorized zone? It's important to note that within each of the four main directories, Twitch does still plan to separate each distinct category as shown in the mock-up here. But with creative categories getting siphoned into IRL, viewers won't even know that watching an art stream is an option unless, for whatever reason, they click on the IRL directory totally randomly just to see what's in there. This announcement coming directly after the GlitchCon Artist Alley is actually kind of insulting. I thought the Artist Alley was an extension of an olive branch by Twitch to uplift artists on their platform, and I know some artists who got partnered during their presentations on the GlitchCon stream. I get that succinctly categorizing things is hard, especially when the variety of all the things that people do and make can create a lot of overlap. Like, is a robot construction stream makers and crafting, or science and technology? But I think that adding a creative directory would encompass, really, all of that. It's insulting to think that Twitch disregards the arts so much that they can't add a fifth button, as if that takes up so much more screen real estate. Going back to the bit at the beginning about creative categories not making Twitch enough money, 
How is it ever going to when Twitch continues to suppress the category? By refusing to invest in the community, Twitch is further signing its death sentence. I joined Twitch back when there wasn't even a creative category. You kind of just had to stream art and hope that you didn't get hate comments in the chat for not playing a video game. I don't want to go back to that. And really, right now, what are the alternatives? YouTube Live doesn't have an art category and YouTube has its own set of problems anyway. Instagram, you have to use your phone and it limits you to only streaming for an hour. And there's no real money. There's only fake money. And there's no real way to make money through tips or subs like you can on Twitch. And nobody remembers Picarto. Sorry, Picarto. One thing you can do right now to help is head over to Twitch's feedback forum and vote for this How Can We Improve Browsing, Filtering, and Searching Make Art Slash Creative Its Own Category thread. There are tons of comments and thousands of votes already, so make your voice heard if you think this is important. Let me know in the comments what you think is the best thing artists can do in this situation. And if you're interested in trying out live streaming art for yourself, I've got a video on how to set all of that up right here. Until next time, take care. Street game playing game what? What?